In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. We heard the words of St. Paul in the second epistle to the Corinthians this morning, saying, Seeing that it is God who commanded light to shine out of darkness, the same also shone in our hearts to give the light of knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the exceeding greatness of power is from God and not from us. We all will say, Rasul, Inna Allah al-Lazi amara an yushrika min al-zulmati nurun huwa al-Lazi ashraqa fi kulubina li-inarati ma'rifati majdi Allahi fi wajhi Yasu'a al-Masih. ولنا هذا الكنز في آنية خزفية لنا هذا الكنز في آنية خزفية ليكون فضل الله فضل القوة فضل القوة لله لا منا ليكون فضل القوة لله لا منا Saint Paul tells us in this passage that we heard that the same God who commanded the light to shine out from darkness, that is when he created the world, this same God and his light shines in our hearts. Such an important spiritual lesson for us, the same God who lit up the creation he also decided to create you and give light in your heart. This is the personal God that we preach. This is the God that wants to be in a relationship with you, in a relationship of communion with you. But they could be بعلاقة معك بشراكة معك الإله الشخصي. For you see, Saint Paul continues saying that the reason. The reason that he gave you this light is that you can obtain the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. سبب الشراق والنور فينا حتى نقدر نحنا نعرف مجد الله بوجه يسوع المسيح. So the goal of God creating you, the purpose of creating you, is that you can know Him and experience His glory. And that can only be done in the face of Jesus Christ. You know who else experienced that? You know who else experienced the knowledge of God and His glory in the face of Jesus Christ? The apostles, the disciples on Mount Tabor. St. John says in his Gospel, and the Word became flesh, and dwelt among us, full of grace and truth, we have beheld His glory, glory as of the only Son from the Father. This same glory in the face of Christ Jesus, you have in your heart the potential, the grace, to witness it. You have the potential to witness it. هيدا المجد نفسه عنا نحن الإمكانية مزروعة فينا لنقدر نعينه this is the purpose of your creation, and also the, this is the potential that God gave you. When someone asks you, what is your potential, you human being? This is your potential. Yet, all that treasure, St. Paul says, is given to us in earthen vessels. So that the exceeding greatness of power is from God and not from us. All this potential is housed in you who are composed of vessels that are fragile, earthen, clay, mantin, titkassa, fragile. And we are talking here about your human body and the human soul. Although God dwells in us, although He created us in His image, 
Although he put in us the potential to become united with him, to become like him, to become him. All this potential is housed in a human nature that is fragile. Please note that this does not mean that God created you sinful, but rather in a nature that can decide to be fragile or not. And from Adam and on, we have decided, we have chosen fragility. Anyways, according to St. Paul, the reason why all of this treasure, the grace of God, the light of God is in you, but yet your nature is fragile, the reason for that is that we always remember and we always know that the power of greatness is not from you. هيك لما نتذكر انه نحن على طول في آنية خزفية نتذكر انه القوة منا منا هي من الله على طول. We won't become prideful ما بنتكبر ما بنفكر انه في أي خير هو منا هو من الله. We attribute everything to God and now I am going to give you three instances of when we are reminded that we are in earth and vessels. بدي أعطيكم ثلاث أمثلة بتذكرنا لما انه نحن the first, whenever you sin, whenever you are tempted to sin, and whenever you submit to your sins and passions. Guys, every day, every day I wake up and I remember that I am in fragile earthly vessels. Every day, any small wind of sin threatens to break you, right? Every day we are tempted. Every day we are reminded that our bodies and souls are fragile. And any threat can break them. When this happens, which happens every day, you are called, according to the spirit of Paul's words, to remember that this vessel of yours, your body and soul, though fragile, houses in it the grace of God given to you in baptism. The grace of God which is not fragile. And when you are tempted, and when you sin, you resort back to this grace in you. And it will free you, and it will teach you how to use the free will, and it will teach you to choose properly. Your earthen vessel is created good. But its fragility can mean sometimes that temptation might feel, might be attractive to us. This is the it makes sin attractive. It makes the choice to sin the easier path. But those who have a serious relationship with Christ, especially through prayer, those people are able easily to resort to this grace, this light in them, inside this fragile vessel, and they know it will protect them and preserve this vessel intact. The second example is suffering. When we go through a suffering, when we go through a tribulation, you know human suffering is a big dilemma for everyone. When there is a distress in our life, be it sickness or any other tribulation related to your social life, to your family life, to your professional life, anything it is. This is exactly when you need to tap into this grace in you, inside your earthen vessels, 
to look only towards, as St. Paul says, the face of Christ. هيدا الوقت لما نقطع بديقة هيدا الوقت بالضبط لما نحن المؤمنين لازم ما نطلع عشي إلا وجه يسوع المسيح مثل ما قلنا بولس الرسول We looked at nothing else other than the face of Jesus Christ Have you, have, have you, ever, have you ever had a rough day, a difficult day a lot of problems, tiring day and at the end of the day you came home and you just stood in front of the icon of Jesus and looked at his face. I do that a lot. And that alone gives me comfort. Have you ever had a difficult day and came home and recited the Jesus prayer, said the name of Jesus? This will bring you comfort. The world tells you to escape suffering. The world tells you to escape suffering. Avoid it, escape from it. Christ tells us, when there is suffering, come to me. And the light will prevail and will make this earthen vessel, shine. And the third example is the topic of death. Being in an earthen vessel, reminds us every day that we are in a mortal body, a mortal nature. Don't think that you are immortal. That your body and soul that will always be intact the way you want them to be. Remember that your body is mortal, that you will die. Remember the grace of God every day and this will keep you always able to Know that this same God who lit the world also shines in your heart. Live every day remembering that you are mortal, but, but that God gives you the ability to live eternally. St. John Chrysostom says, he says the fact that an earthen vessel has been enabled to bear so great a brightness, so great of brightness, a brightness, and to keep so high a treasure in an earthen vessel, this tells us about who God is and his power. The treasure of God's grace in your heart is more potent than any fragility that you experience. Know that whenever you something happens and you remember, I'm fragile, I'm weak, remember that God allowed that in this fragile nature, His grace is housed. There's a reason He allowed that. Usually, pottery clay vessels, earthen vessels, if they fall and break, it is impossible to stitch them together and make it intact again. بيقدر مليون مرة يرجعها مثل ما هي إذا كان في طوبة هذه عجيبة إيماننا This is the greatest miracle of our faith that with Christ if this vessel of clay falls and breaks into a thousand pieces a million times Christ is capable of piecing it back perfectly when there is repentance He does that when there is repentance this is who our God is. And this is the human nature. Beautiful and good and though fragile is given the ability to carry the most precious treasure which can preserve it eternally. Amen.